Hey guys, welcome to my channel and this is going to be a very quick video about YB.me because this thing is helping a lot these days. So it's a really amazing uh, search engine and uh, remember uh, this video where I showed you, not showed you, actually explained you an idea which I had uh, in my head where I was just talking about a search engine website which uh, which is just going to search some minimal uh, websites all right which doesn't contain all this javascript junk and some quality content like quality articles and um so i was just uh, talking about some ideas and then luke smith made this video where he showed uh, yb.me which is a search engine uh, which only search minimal websites and uh, um, from them from that time i started using yb.me a lot so now i use three search engine google DuckDuckGo, and yb.me and let me show you something it's really really amazing like for example i wanted to study about gpg keys okay so i searched on yb and this is what i do a lot these days every time i have to learn something i just search it on yb.me because it really give me some quality content so here i got this article uh, of this website you know martin captain and this article really really helped me into understanding gpg or you know overall and i really liked it and this is not just one thing there are like lot of time i use yb.me for educational content and i got lot of good blogs and you know people's personal website where they write uh, whatever they want to write and not just gpg key I, I i have this habit of looking others people website a lot so i was looking about him and he's a pianist so that's really cool i mean uh, chris ochipinti i think he's a firefighter and he make videos about linux shell and luke smith is also not you know a programmer he's uh, he's linguistic i guess i mean i see a lot of people who are really good with technology but uh, their main thing like the main profession is not you know computers which really blow my mind i mean these guys work uh, so much just out of their interest so i found a lot of good articles and i read all these articles and this is just one example if you go to yb.me and search like emacs okay so you're going to get uh, like this tutorial here let me see is this the right yeah so look at this it's truly one of the best tutorial you can find about emacs i mean the step one is rtmf that's what i usually advise people uh if you want to learn emacs just the first thing you should do is just read the manual and you know the tutorial which emacs offer and it contain all the key bindings i mean this is so nice i mean you can't find this content from googling or you know from DuckDuckGo, and this is what i was talking about in this idea i was saying that we need to you know fetch these underrated content we need a search engine which actually provide us some you know good quality content otherwise it's really hard to find uh, this guy's website on you know uh, on from google or you know you know anywhere all right so we need to improve yb.com because i think uh, yb.com doesn't have a lot of website but it do a really good job you know if you want to learn about you know assembly i think i found some good uh, tutorials about assembly and um, there are a lot of cool stuff i found on yb.com well, not dot com i'm for how long i was saying dot com it's dot me all right oh god so yeah it's really really amazing i mean these kind of content are really useful and I, I these days i mean i am using a lot and i found a lot of things and i found a lot of personal websites and i learn a lot so i'm going to say that my idea was not stupid i mean i i now i think uh it was really good idea of making search engine and even though we don't really need to i mean my search engine idea got some more things you know flashy stuff but i think yb dot me is just doing everything all we need to do is if you have any good website just submit it like i submitted 
my website so it's really easy uh, you can you know submit any website all you have to do is just you know go to yb.co and yeah submit a page here and you can just enter url and it's pretty simple so the thing is that um, you have to understand the value of these kind of search engine i mean without these any of these kind of search engine i think it's impossible to find good content and we really need co good content especially in days like these when google just going to give you some paid uh, blog or article if you search for emacs i mean the main website of emacs probably but if you search for emacs tutorial or G gpg tutorial you're just going to get some you know yeah digital ocean and these kind of stuff which which is not so helpful i mean that guy article was uh, really really nicely well written and uh, so that's it i mean this was a quick video and today i'm actually not going to edit the video i'm just going to upload it straight okay so uh yeah that's it